All right, drum roll please. Back number four. Yeah, so this week we, um, I haven't seen Shane all week, so I'm just catching him up. I um, hung out with my friend and celebrating one of his birthdays with my girlfriend up in DC. Um, that was on Wednesday. On Thursday, I had a show for Vallejo, which is a automotive parts group. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard the name, and it's a super amazing show. Probably one of the best I've done. Um, amazing group. We killed the Walker Magic, killed the show, and I'm going to try to end up working with them to do some trade show work to get them a list of qualified leads for their company, incorporating their message into tricks to get people over to the booth so they don't have to spend $1,000 on a popcorn machine. Um, the other thing that I did is I went to a 35th birthday party for Elise and um, Mark. There are a couple up in D.C. Uh, I'm going to bur butcher the last name, and hopefully they'll forgive me. It's uh, Leif Leifkowitz, Leifkowitz or Leifowitz. Um, amazing, amazing house, beautiful family. Um, they, they know like Olivia Wilde, uh, the guy who owns the Nationals. I got to meet some of these people and uh, it was super awesome to just see all these really cool, notable people there and be able to blow them away and create fans out of them. They offered to fly me down to Florida for New Year's Eve, but unfortunately I'm already booked for another show I'm doing, but that one's gonna be fun and I'm excited for that too. This morning, <laughs> I woke up, I'm not feeling well. I don't know if you can tell from my voice, not feeling well at all. And um, I had a show in which I was supposed to do pretty much a brand new show because they hired me last year. I wanted to treat my old clients well and do something completely new for them. So I'm rushing around to get new tricks done. I woke up late because my alarm went off. I wasn't feeling well. I hit snooze and didn't get up until an hour after I was supposed to have left. But I got here with plenty of time to get it set. Still did the strolling magic and knocked it out of the park with the new tricks. Um, and one of them was the most dangerous trick I've ever done. And I think Shane caught it on camera. No. I draw something on my hand. Jennifer, do you know what I drew? If you said yes, we could have blown their mind. Just an X. It's permanent ink, so it doesn't rub off. What I can do is like a sticker, peel it. Now Jennifer, whenever something disappears, it always has to reappear. You chose that hand. Check it out. Let's give Jennifer a round of applause, you guys. That was awesome. By the way, I don't know where, who, there's, there's like somebody on a, on a box in Walmart that you look like. Who is it? <laughs> ah, you're the retired Emerald Legla Legassi, Legassi, is that how it is? Emerald Legassi, is that who it is? I used to think that guy was my dad growing up, but anyway. Dad, good to meet you again. I'm gonna riffle through the cards. Whenever you want, you're just gonna say stop, okay? Stop. Do you wanna change your mind? Less, more? You sure? Please? Okay, fine. Can you look at the card? Memorize it, don't let me see it, okay? And by the way, guys, this is Shane. Shane's here with me. He films all the tricks that we do and puts them together in this really cool thing to send out to you guys. Uh, take a look at it, show them, don't show me. You got it? And place it right here on the top. We'll bury it into the middle. Do you know how I knew you were gonna say stop at that card? Do you know how I knew you were gonna say stop at that card? Because I knew you were gonna mess me up. That's how I knew. No. Because one card has a slight blue tint to it. All the rest are very bright red. One of them is slightly more blue than the rest. I mean, it's hard to, it's really hard to see unless I point it out. Like, it is very subtle. Oh, that's subtle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for playing along, I like that. <laughs> what was your card? Was it the King of Spades? It was what? Oh. Well, good thing, good thing then, good thing. Can I place this under your OJ if you don't mind? Slide that right under here, under the orange juice. I'm gonna have you, Tony, pick a card, okay? I'm gonna riffle through whenever you like you say stop. Right here. Memorize it, lock it into your memory. Don't let me see it. By the way, I wanna just announce to you guys that there are no markings on the back that would tell me what the card is, okay? Goes into the middle. Good. No idea where it is. No idea that the seven of spades is 17 from the top. I don't know that. That's impossible. What I do know is that we're gonna change it from red on the back to blue. But first, I need to have you help me out. What was your first name? Keith. Keith, Chris, nice to meet you, Keith. Chris, Keith, nice you're gonna put your hand on top of the cards, if you don't mind. And you gotta commit here, we gotta put on a show for them. All right, we're, we're gonna do something ready. called the noise. It goes like this. Huh. Huh. First try, Keith. <laughs> we don't wanna have to like, tell people to use the diaphragm and they get nervous. You're, are you a coach? No, I'm a boss. You should, oh, that makes sense, that makes sense. Then. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know if in your spare time, yeah. Lift your hand up, and we've got one card that changes from red to, it's like a genie. It takes you literally. 
When you say genie, I want to be rich. He gives you no money, but he changed your name to Richard. It's the same thing. He said one blue card. There's already one. Wait, what? Did you check it out? Why? Check it out. <laughs> Show it around. <laughs> I want you to close your fist around that card for me. Close it tight around the card. Hold it up high. And I want everybody in the audience right now to say the word go. Toss. And I have not left from the front of the room. If you guys can look back on that Christmas tree, one card has jumped. But that only counts if it is, in fact, the nine of clubs. We're gonna take a look right here. This is the nine of clubs? Yes, with a signature? Rob, let's give him one more round of applause, please. Rob, thank you so much for coming up here. That was awesome. We'll start with you, Emily. Just, you stood, which means they have a good sense of intuition. If you play a creepy noise, something that's scary and we're conditioned to know is in horror movies, usually gives us a weird, squirmy feeling. The people who raise their hand or stand are the people who listen to their gut the most, right? And you fight the intuition, or you go with the intuition enough to raise your hand despite the other people fighting the urge, right? So Emily, I have a sense that you have a really good sense of intuition. Do you feel that that's true? Yeah. Okay, so there's one, two, three, and four. I need you right now, name a number between one and four. Three. Three. Now that's one in four. All right, drum roll please. Back number four. But that only matters if inside of the last bag is in fact Come over here, place your hand on top and just feel the pressure. It's very strong. Yes, yes, yes. Can we give Shelly and all the volunteers a giant round of applause? <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Thank you so much. Now, I'm going down to Raleigh, North Carolina, and performing for um, another group called Parker Stockstill, and we're going to blow them away even more. <laughs> 